The dance language of honeybees is used to communicate the location of profitable food resources and is among the most versatile forms of non-primate communication. Carl von Frisch described this system in terms of two types of dances. One, the round dance, which indicates the presence of a nearby food source but does not convey directional information, and, two, the waggle dance, which indicates a food source more than 100 meters from the hive and provides information on both its distance and direction. The belief that honeybees perform two distinct recruitment dances has been widely accepted since the 1920s. However, detailed studies on the behavioral parameters of these dances across varying food source distances have been limited. Recent research by Gardner et al. in 2008 demonstrates that both the round and waggle dances convey information about distance and direction, with no clear distinction between the two. They concluded that it is more accurate to view the round and waggle dances as part of a continuum, where honeybees use a single adjustable recruitment signal, the waggle dance. Waggle refers to a short, rapid movement up and down or side to side. A continuum is a sequence in which adjacent elements are not easily distinguishable, though the extremes are clearly distinct. This video shows dances performed by foragers from a captive Apis laboriosa colony. The cliff bee, Apis laboriosa, performs a silent dance, while Apis dorsata exhibits a buzzing dance. Apis laboriosa dances during daylight, whereas Apis dorsata performs its dance both during the day and at night. This suggests that the common ancestor of giant honeybees may have developed an acoustic component in their dances to communicate effectively in both light and dark conditions. Over time, Apis laboriosa may have lost the wing buzz component of the dance as this species relies primarily on visual cues and is active only in the presence of light.